Tips Make Up Your Face, where I teach you how to make up your face. So today, I'm going to be filming my super late, and I'm really sorry, um, June favorites. I don't really have that many beauty favorites this month because, um, I'm going to be honest, I haven't really been wearing makeup, so, um, since I'm here in Australia, um, for a good, like, five days, I've just been sick, and I haven't been feeling good, and then on top of that, um, while Bryce is away at work, I'm just here at home and not doing much, so there's no reason for me to have to wear makeup, so that's why I haven't really been wearing it. I did want to highlight a few products that I've kind of been really, really thankful for, and in a way, they've kind of just been, like, my go-to products, and they've they don't ever let me down, so, um, I'm, I have a lot of lip products, but, um, it's just because those are, like, my favorite. I, I love my lip products, so, um, I'm just gonna, once again, always go in order as if I were doing my face, and, um, alright, let's just get, get into it. Okay. The first product that I want to, um, bring to your guys' attention is, um, my Beauty Blender, and I love this little guy. It's so adorable, and I actually just recently started following Beauty Blender on Instagram, and, oh my god. Whenever I see a bunch of beauty blenders, I just get all excited. I have no idea why. Um, so basically, this is a makeup sponge, and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to run it under, like, water and dampen it um, continuously, like, you're squeezing it to make it about, like, that big in size. And um, you use it to apply your makeup. So you can apply it by bouncing it. You can apply it by, you know, patting it using the tips. The possibilities are endless with this makeup sponge. and I have recently come across um, different kinds of makeup sponges that I've been attempting to dupe and nothing has come close. So that is the reason why this one is the favorite. It's because no matter how hard I try, I always seem to come back to my beauty blender and it's, it's so great at applying makeup and it makes everything so flawless and seamless and beautiful and that's why I love my beauty blender. For foundation, um, I know this is going to be a little bit strange considering here in Australia it is winter time. Usually during the winter time I don't get that oily. However, I did notice that as I am using my Clarisonic um, to wash my face, it um, making me a little bit oilier more often and I think it's because with the continuous use of washing your face you know, it, it tends to make you more oily, especially with, you know, your oily skin. So, um, I've been using my Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup, and, um, this foundation, I'm not sure if it's, you know, like, even my color anymore. I still think it is my color with the tan that I have from before I left, but, you know, if it happens to be too dark, I might have to just mix in, like, a lighter shade while I'm here, but that's no big deal. So, um, this foundation is just phenomenal. I... I can go the entire day and like I'll I won't even get like super oily which is like great that's what I need and um, you know I just need to lightly powder my face when I'm using this foundation and bam that's it so this foundation is very light on your face um, it's easy to blend and I'd say it has medium to almost full coverage um, today I did use it but I didn't have to use any concealer and um, I guess that's also the great thing because my skin is clearing up and I haven't broken out when I've used this foundation, so um, I'm definitely loving this foundation. I'm, I'm going to continue to use it, and I definitely want to do a review on this one for you guys. Two of the blushes that um, I want to highlight, and you guys have heard of these um, before. If not, they'll be in my next couple of videos. They're the Australis Paparazzi Perfect High Definition Blushes, and I have two here. One in Flash It and one in Screen Siren. So, these two blushes, um, like, I've, I've heard the hype about them, and I wanted to see for myself what it was all about, and so I waited until I came to Australia to, you know, buy them and find them and use them. They're super big, like, there's so much product that comes in here, and, you know, that's, that's a really big blush. I mean, like, I don't even think I'll be able to finish that anytime soon, and I have, I have two of them. I'm actually wearing Flash It today on my, um, cheeks, and these blushes, they're great. Like, they, they have great staying power. You know, they, um, they're very true to their color. You could swirl the colors all together, try and get that one little bit of color that you want from the blush. It's very opaque. 
You can also sheer it out. You can build it up. There's so many things that you can do with this blush. And um, even though it was like a little bit pricey, but I mean, it's Australian cosmetics. And um, everything here is definitely more expensive than it is in California. It was worth every dollar that I spent on these blushes. And I, I can't wait to bring them back home and wear them all the time. So for eyeshadow, um, I was actually gifted this by a family friend. And... Um, at first, I wasn't really sure if I was going to like this palette. Um, it's just a three-pan palette. Um, the name of the palette is Palette Number no. 2 Bronzed Goddess, and it's by Model Co. And um, it's seriously like the most simple palette that you can ever imagine. It's, it's so neutral, it's so everyday, and it's so easy. And the thing about these eyeshadows are I wasn't expecting the color payoff that they have. I'm wearing them today and um, I didn't really try to go that heavy with my eye makeup because of the lips that I'm wearing but um, I just feel like these are you know like opaque colors they're easy to blend and I mean it's so simple and easy and just I feel like I can pick this up and I can do the eye look and I could do like different eye looks I don't have to you know use any other palette except this one you can't apply a lip product without some sort of lip base or chapstick lip primer anything and um, for me that is my EOS lip balm in sweet mint I actually don't like any of the other flavors just because I'm I'm not one who is particularly drawn to like fruity scents um, I prefer mint just because it's more refreshing and I feel like it's like ooh, it's like, ooh, it's like, ooh it's like, mm -hmm. Someone can come up to me and smell my lips and it'll smell nice. <laughs> I don't know. Um, another sort of lip balmy product, which kind of counteracts what I just said about the EOS lip balm, um, but it is this lip jam. It's super cute, but um, it's a lip balm in like a jar. And um, I got the flavor peach, and the thing I love about this so much is that it smells like peach rings. You guys know like trolley peach rings? Oh my gosh. They smell like them so much and it's so good and I love it. So um, yeah, I don't particularly enjoy this for the taste of it. I actually enjoy it for the smell and um, I do put it on and I do tend to want to rub it off of my face. But um, yeah, I don't use <laughs> this for the purpose of the lip balm. I actually use it just to smell it. I know that sounds so strange, but... Um, yeah, I had to include it and it's so yummy and I love All it. Alright, so what I'm currently wearing on my lips today is an oldie, but it's still a favorite. And it is my Revlon Lip Butter in um, Red Velvet. It's moisturizing, it's easy to apply, it's it's so simple. You know, like I, I applied it today, I just ran it on the bottom of my lips and I just pursed my lips together and done. Like that's it, I didn't need a lip liner, I didn't need to clean out the edge, I didn't need to use a lip brush. Like it's so simple and easy and I feel like that's kind of what I'm all about this month is just being simple and easy and if you guys don't have this lip butter yet, you guys might want to go pick it up because it is so great. The color is so nice and it's like a deep red but it's not like so red that it's you know like a true red or you know red with a blue undertone or matte or any of that it's just it's easy it's simple you put it on done like red that's just how it is and I can't get enough of this and I love it and you're good lip butter you're very good and the last product for this month um, beauty wise that I have been loving so much <sighs> are these Rimmel Show Off Slash Apocalypse Lip Lacquers. So um, these are like the huge craze right now. Um, they just recently hit the US and I did pick up Show Off Lip Lacquers before I um, came here. I picked up two and then while I was here I noticed that they arrived in Australia as well but they arrived as Apocalypse. So I did pick up three while I was here in Australia and to be honest I am a little bit hooked and I do plan on getting more um, so yeah now I just want to point out um, I do not like any sort of lip gloss of so some sort that has glitter in it so all of the lip lacquers I have here are cream finishes yeah so they're cream finishes and um, I have a range from nude to medium to dark and um, but there is something that I, I did want to point out um, First, um, I do have a video that will be coming up on these. I will be reviewing these and doing a first impression on them. Um, the second thing I wanted to point out 
is that there's a way that you can tell if these have actually been opened, swatched, or anything previously. Okay, so if you guys can see, it's clear. I'll compare it side by side. So this one is clear because I haven't pulled the wand out yet. And this one has the color in it because I have pulled the wand out. That's for you guys to see. If you guys um, want to know if it's been opened and swatched in the drugstore, and I guess this is mostly pertaining to people who are in the U.S., um, that is how you can tell. Um, I just wanted to point that out to you guys that when you pull it out, that little bit gets filled up with the liquid. Hopefully that makes sense if you guys know what I mean. Um, but yeah, so that concludes my video. Thank you guys so much for watching my June favorites. I know it's super late and we're already like almost halfway into July, but I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. I've just been so like busy and not busy and then like been lacking on it. Stay tuned guys for um, more upcoming videos. I have tutorials, I have um, hauls, and I do have a video on my Clarisonic journey that I would like to share with you guys. So don't forget to like, comment down below, subscribe, and share this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! And um... Okay. Um, I kind of have a series... <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, that was gross. And um, you know... But to me, I feel like they are worth every pet. Not they don't have pennies here, so. Or um. Um. Okay. So.